Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video of Gaming with Linux. This time around I'm showcasing Oli Oli 2, which is a 2D skateboarding game. It was originally released on the 3rd of March 2015 on the PS Vita and PS4, with the PC version for Linux, Windows and Mac coming on the 11th of August 2015. I originally played the first game on this game both on my PS Vita, but enjoyed them enough to purchase them again on Linux. To put this game in perspective, add the timing and tricks of the game's skate, with the crazy arcade speed of Tony Hawk's, add a little spice of 2D and boom, Oli Oli is born. Oli Oli is a game which rewards timing. If you time your grinds and lands at a perfect time, you gain more speed and also improve your score, as depending on your timing you get multipliers from sloppy, good or perfect which is the one you want to aim for. Included in Oli Oli 2, however, is manuals, which are a perfect combo extender and also emphasize the importance of timing, due to the fact that the maps in Oli Oli 2 are much longer, so if you time your manuals right, the majority of the maps you can keep your combo for the whole of the level, which gives you massive amounts of points, and a good feeling of success with it. Included with each map is a set of objectives for you to complete, once you complete objectives for a set of levels, you'll unlock Pro Mode for that level, which is a bit more difficult. And once you complete them objectives, you unlock Rad Mode, which is crazy hard. You have to nail every trick to perfection, otherwise you eat dirt. Graphically, I love how the game looks, it's such a nice and simplistic look. The only problem I've had with the small graphical changes in the game is I found myself struggling sometimes to decipher what the next surface is before I do something on it. So sometimes I try and do a grind and it ends up being a flat surface which can ruin one of your runs. Some of the levels are trial and error I guess, figure out niggly bits from it, but this can just be a little bit annoying. With the game I would highly recommend using a controller, I'm not even sure a keyboard is a viable option for this game. I've used DualShock 4 in the past but you can use Steam Controller which is my current choice for any game, as for this game you don't use a right analog stick which makes the Steam Controller a fine choice. This game runs as expected from a 2D game, there are quite minimal graphics options for it if it doesn't run that great for you, even on my laptop it runs great, not that my laptop is a potato or anything. Me personally, I really enjoy this game, I think it's a little gem. Looking at the Steam reviews, it seems it's not a very well known game, with under 200 reviews, bearing in mind the majority of them are positive reviews. I feel like this has basically done everything Oli Oli 1 did, but even better. I love the bigger maps, I love the added tricks like manuals and reverts which allow you to keep up your multiplayer and in the end it gives you massive scores. I highly recommend you keep an eye on this game, as for its original price it's £10 and I've recently seen it on Steam sales for £2. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, rate and subscribe for future latest content and peace all out. See you later guys.